Yes, folks, you heard that right. Finnish startup Polar Night Energy and local Finnish utility Vata Jankowski have together built the world's first commercial sun-based high-temperature heat storage system that can be powered by solar and wind. Polar Night Energy system, based on its patented technology, has gone online on the site of a power plant operated by utility Vata Jankowski. The heat storage device for Polar Night Energy is a 23-foot tall steel container that is 100 tons of sand deep. Sand in the steel container is heated by resistive heating as a result of hot air being pumped through the pipes. Because sand can retain heat at a temperature of 500 to 600 degrees Celsius for months, electricity produced in the summer can be used to heat dwellings in the winter. According to Polar Night Energy, it has an 8 megawatt hour energy capacity and 100 kilowatts of heating power. Do stay with us till the end. The war in Ukraine has shifted a great deal of attention towards relieving dependence on natural gas and with Moscow halting gas and electricity supplies to the region. Concerns over sources of heat and light, especially with the long, cold Finnish weather on the horizon, are preoccupying politicians and citizens in Finland. There has been a boom in investments in the development of new renewable energy sources as a result of climate change and the current fast-rising cost of fossil fuels. New wind and solar energy sources can be easily integrated into the country's power infrastructures but they also pose a significant hurdle. Now, how do you keep the lights on when the sun isn't shining and the wind isn't blowing? That's the major problem now. As too much or too little power can cause the electricity grid to collapse, increasing the amount of renewable energy also involves boosting the output of other energy sources. Large-scale batteries that can store and balance energy needs as the grid grows greener are the most obvious solution to these issues. Currently, the majority of batteries are constructed of lithium, but they are pricey, have a large physical footprint, and can only handle a small amount of surplus power. However, in the town of Kan Kapa, a group of young Finnish engineers have finished the first commercial installation of a sand-based battery that they believe can provide a low-cost, low-impact solution to the storage issue. The device has been installed in the Vata Jankowski power plant, which runs the district heating system for the area. Now, here is how this impressive sand battery technology works. During the months of abundant sunshine and wind, Power costs are at their lowest as solar and wind turbines contribute to energy generation for the power grid. It is at this time that electricity generated from these renewable sources is used to heat up around 100 tons of sand, piled high inside a 4 by 7 meter dull grey steel container. Low-cost electricity warms the sand up to 500 degrees Celsius by resistive heating the same process that makes electric fires work. This generates hot air which is circulated in the sand by means of a heat exchanger. Sand is a very effective medium for storing heat and loses little over time. The developers say that their device could keep sand at 500 to 600 degrees Celsius, that is 932 to 1112 degrees Fahrenheit for several months. That's over five times the temperature that can be attained by water. So, when energy prices are higher, the battery discharges the hot air which warms water for the district heating system, which is then pumped around homes, offices and even the local swimming pool. The system can discharge a maximum of 100 kilowatts of heat power and has a total energy capacity of 8 megawatt hours equating to up to 80 hour storage duration but now authorities want to scale the system to one a thousand times bigger or 8 gigawatt hours according to a report from UK broadcaster BBC. 
Vata Jankowski also uses the heat provided by the storage to prime the waste heat recovered from their data servers so that it can also be fed into the district heating network. It should be noted that the sand used by Polar Night Energy is, in fact, the lowest grade of sand in Finland that isn't used in construction. That adds to the cost efficiency of this new sand battery. However, if the technology can be scaled up to actually make a difference and whether the developers will be able to use it to get energy out as well as heat is one of the key challenges right now. When the sun is only utilized to send power back to the electrical system, efficiency is drastically reduced. But storing green energy as heat for the longer term is also a huge opportunity for industries where most of the processed heat that is used in food and drink, textiles or pharmaceuticals comes from the burning of fossil fuels. Sun is being currently studied by several research organizations, including the U.S. National Renewable Energy Laboratory, as a potential form of battery for renewable energy. But the Finns are the first with a working commercial system that so far is performing well. This is, however, not the only thermal storage facility being set up a Swedish public utility, Vattenfall, is about to start filling a 200 megawatt rated thermal energy storage facility, effectively a giant water tank in Berlin. It is the second major thermal storage facility based on a unique, if not novel, technological solution for renewable energy. The Vattenfall heat storage tank can hold 56 million liters of water and it will be heated at 98 degrees Celsius and will be combined with the existing power-to-heat system of Vattenfall's West Power Plant. To meet the consumer's domestic heating demands, the water will be delivered directly into the district heating system. Two months are anticipated for the filling, which will be followed by a testing phase before commercial operation starts in April 2023. And that's where we wrap things up for today. Our team appreciates you staying with us until this point. Our goal is to help you learn as much as possible about green technology, zero emission initiatives, and the future of innovations. And there is quite a great deal of effort that goes to bring you entertaining updates. In the meantime, kindly return the favor and give this video a like. Subscribe and hit that bell notification icon to be the first to know when new content is added. The comments you leave on our videos are appreciated and sharing them indicates that you like our content and want it to reach a wider audience. Okay, see you in the next video.